update you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. And that gets things running. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Luka Modric. He's someone, Peter, who reads the game that little bit quicker than everyone else. He's got fantastic technique too, and that allows him to weigh his through balls to near perfection, as well as keep hold of it when he's under pressure. He's a real leader out there, someone who can take control of the game and maintain it. Just getting the best out of him will count for so much. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And here's Kane. Down by a lack of accuracy. Tries to get it forward quickly. Valverde. Across the field it goes. And it's Grealish. De Bruyne. Answer Kane with a shot. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Manchester City have been the more adventurous for me and productive, and now they have to add that clinical bit. Grealish looking for space out wide. Up he gets. He's delivered all right. The breakthrough strike. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. A 1-0 lead established. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And it's De Bruyne. 
De Bruyne. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Modric. Plays it over to the other flank. Hoists it high. And it's got through. He's made sure that that won't get through. And he just whacks it away. Now it's Kane. Greenish takes control of it and he's on the move. Andre Silva. Greenish. This could spell danger. Has a hit! Oh, bang on target. Rodri. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Isco. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Isco. What an adventurous run from a defender. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Complication. Valverde, De Bruyne gets it back, and it's Andre Silva. Has he picked him out? De Bruyne shapes the shoot, and in again, he scores. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Courtois did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Hoists it forward. Andre Silva. De Bruyne. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Modric tries to switch the play. <laughs> and there's the end of the first half. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? A half of massive entertainment and excitement. A two-goal margin, yes, but all things still possible. So we're just settling back into this second half. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Looks to thread it through, and he's cut it out. And the ball's come out. He could be in here. Benzema. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Sergio Ramos, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full-contact contest. 
Foden. That's a promising ball. Isco. Rodri. With a definite foul there. And that's going to be a booking. Sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. Finds himself eased off the ball. Modric. Across the field it goes. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Modric. Modric. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Sinchenko. And the shot! They've scored! Real Madrid are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. ourselves a game here I think they can sense a comeback here and so can this crowd it's all systems go now the defense can get it clear Greenish needed to come up with a better ball yeah I mean he, I think he did well to, to spot the run he just didn't get enough behind it it happens Heave to the back post. Rob, he's gone for it! The point is effectively being marked out of the game here. Peter, I can't stress enough the need to get to this fella quickly. They can save themselves a whole lot of hassle. Foden. And here's Kane, chance going for goal! Oh, real to in for the follow-up! Could fall kindly! <laughs> Rodri. Zinchenko. Shot a goal! Well, oh, that is rather wayward. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. There is some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. And back to base. Mares. Sergio Ramos. Zinchenko. He's had a go. He should have put that one away. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Done 
very well to intervene. Real Madrid are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's Isco. It is now or never. Time is against them. This could... And the finish! Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. We have got changes here, from both sides, in fact. Sergio Ramos tries to clear. Real Madrid need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Here's Modric, Isco, has a goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Uh, needed a better pass there. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Manchester City were very 